हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ द टॉपिक नंबर थर्ड इज टाइप्स ऑफ चार्जेस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन अवर माइंड वी हैव अ क्वेश्चन हाउ इज द पाइप गेटिंग चार्ज एंड ऑल्सो वी हैव अ माइंड अदर ऑब्जेक्ट लाइक कॉम अट्रैक्ट विथ पेपर हाउ दिस ऑब्जेक्ट गेटिंग चार्ज सो देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन अवर माइंड द टाइप्स ऑफ द चार्जेस how the other things are to be charged okay so first of all we have to understand about the fundamental unit of matter now actually the fundamental unit of matter is atom and we know that okay the atom now one example we have to say that pipe is a made up of different molecules okay our different different bodies are molecules of uh, made up of different molecules so one example the pipe is made up of different molecules now we zoom it on the one molecule just assume that okay now we zoom the molecules okay there are different types of the atoms okay now the atoms have uh, electrons either positive electron uh, sorry uh, the atoms have the electrons and the protons okay now the number of electrons and the number of protons in a neutral atoms are same okay yeah we know that the electrons are negatively charged and the protons are positively charged and we can also say that in neutral object the net charge is zero the net charge is zero okay now now one example what happen what happen we add more electrons in neutral atoms so what happen when we add more electrons in neutral atom so can we still imagine that okay it is called a neutral atom when after we add the more electrons the answer is no why because the in neutral atom the number of electrons in neutral atoms the number of electrons and the number of protons are same now when we add uh, <coughs> when we add more electrons okay in neutral atom so uh, the electrons the number of electrons is more than number of protons okay is greater than so the number of electrons is more than number of protons okay so if electrons are more than protons we can say that that is a negatively charged object okay same as when we remove electrons uh in a neutral object so the pro the molecules are oh, sorry the number of protons i are more than the number of electrons so we can say that the positively charged object understood okay what so you think about that one question in your mind only we can add or remove the electrons we cannot remove or add the protons okay the question of the answer is uh, why only add and remove the electrons okay can we do that with protons too the answer is no because the protons are immobile okay so the protons are immobile with nucleus so it is impossible okay now for example now we have to take the some example to transfer the electrons now the example number 1 how are the electron transfer example number 1 pipe and woolen clothes are neutral now first of all pipe and woolen clothes are neutral when we rub them uh, when we rub them the few electrons get transferred the pipe through the woolen clothes okay understood once again now when we rub okay when we rub pipe with woolen object or woolen cloth okay now some electrons are transferred from uh, through pipe to the woolen clothes okay or we can also say it is a exchange of electrons okay now second example is glass rod so uh, from the example number 1 we can say that uh, one object is positively charged and one object is negatively charged okay for example number 2 just we can say that glass rod is positively charged and the silk is negatively charged another example is dry hair and the comb so the dry hair is positively charged and the comb is negatively charged okay these are just conventionally accepted facts okay so the object get charge because of exchange of electron between two object to body to matter whatever okay so the bodies are charged when they lose or gain 
electron but body haven't electrical charge okay once again the bodies are charged when they lose or gain the electrons okay but the body haven't electrical charge okay so this type of electricity is known as static electricity okay this type of electricity is known as a static electricity but why we say that it is a static electricity the question is in our mind the to exert this force of attraction or repulsion of the charge object do not need to move once again the exert to exert these force okay of attraction or repulsion the charge object do not need to move so <clears throat> so this is known as a static electricity this phenomena is known as a static electricity okay <clears throat> hello friends now our next topic is topic number 4 introduction to charge particles okay introduction to charge particles now Uh, to understand the charge particles first of all we have to understand about uh, in our mind i have a question for you what is electron you know that the electron is the smallest unit of charge okay now the electron have some amount of negatively charge or we can also say that the charge can be either negative or positive okay so the charge either can be negatively so either positive charge or negative charge so electron is a most fundamental negative charge particles okay so the electrons is a most fundamental most fundamental is a list okay it's a small segment of the four electrons okay it's a most fundamental negatively charged particle so the amount of one electron so the amount of one electron equal to from 1 1.6 into 10 is to minus 19 coulomb coulomb is a unit of charge now this negative sign is indicating the negative charge and this negative minus 19 is not indicate the a uh, negative charge but this indicates the magnitudes of electrons it indicate the magnitudes of the electrons okay now <clears throat> now for fundamental we can say that okay the equal and opposite fundamental charges are known as the protons seen as uh, electrons okay now the equal and opposite fundamental charge okay get the point now the equal and opposite fundamental charge is known as protons now the protons protons is a positively charged so the protons is a positively charged and the most fundamental we can also say it is the smallest positive charge the plus 1.6 into 10 is to minus 19 coulomb likewise uh, this uh, positive is a uh, positive sign is indicating the positive charge and this negative sign is indicating the magnitude of proton okay now <clears throat> so we can say that the electrons plus proton is known as a neutral charge it's having the no charge when the number of electrons and the number of protons are same so this is known as a zero charge okay now simplest the atom we can say that it is a, we can take as a simplest atom is known as a hydrogen now the hydrogen has a one electron and protons okay so now the take one hydrogen atom and remove one electron from this we can say that the nuclei of uh, the nucleus of hydrogen atom it's known as a simply proton okay now once again the hydrogen has a one electron and one proton but we can take out from this hydrogen atom and remove one electron so we can simply say that this is a nucleus of hydrogen atom okay and we can also say that it is a simply proton okay now <clears throat> so now understand what is the charge particles so the any charge particles so any charge particles is simply combination of electrons and protons okay now the charge particles is simply the combinations of electrons and the protons okay have you prepared the charge particles so how we prepared the charge particles so once we have to select a matter so once consider we have a matter okay now we have a matter okay 
so we have a matter or we can also say that it is known as an atom and there is a number of electrons plus number of protons is known as a neutral atom now this is a neutral atom now the matter having a uh, uh, once uh, first of all and this is a second one first we have to remove electron from the matter now we have to remove electron from the matter so we have number of electrons plus number of protons okay but in this we have to remove the electron so this is a n minus 1 electron plus n proton is a as it is so what the result it is a excess of one proton or we can also say it is a remove of one electron so uh, uh, it's a obviously the one proton is excess to with compared to the electrons so we have a more electrons sorry more protons plus 1.6 into 10 to minus 19 coulomb charge in our atom so we can say that it is a positively charged and on the other hand we can remove the uh, in the matter we can add a positive electrons okay so number of electron plus number of protons so we have add one electron so uh, first number of electron plus number of proton now we add one electron so n plus one electron and and proton so the result is extra electron is present with comparatively proton so uh, extra electrons minus 1.6 into 10 so minus 19 coulomb charge is created so it's create the negatively charged particle okay so if we remove the electron from the object or a matter or a atom and if we add the electrons uh, or uh, in matter or atom or object so we can create a positively charged and negatively charged okay i hope you understand this topic